Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, current energy, the near future. We're just going to pull a bunch of cards and see where things are right now. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Okay, so we're going to pull kind of an, uh, two different overall energies, but let's see with these astrology cards, what we've got. Okay, so it says intensity. It's, it looks like exploring, exposing, purging, and renewing. So it's, look at that, it's your energy. And that's no mistake. Okay, so you're going to be very much in your own energy. Just remember those words, intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. It's going to be important over these next couple of weeks. All right, so let's go ahead and get into regular tarot and see what your overall energy is. All right, so we've got we've got the nine of wands. So, of course, we know what this card is. If you watch tarot, you know that's the wounded warrior. So, lots of bumps and bruises along the way. I mean, it comes up a lot and often for people who have gone through such significant trials, errors, traumas, and gotten to the other side of them. So, some of you could be feeling a little worse for wear. And that doesn't mean that your energy is necessarily down. You just have been through a lot. And like it says in that card, the intensity and things being exposed and having to purge and kind of move forward. Some things could still be purging from your life right now. And yeah, you're feeling the wounds, no doubt. So they could be popping up for you right now and they're significant. And you just feel like a part of you has to brush some of this stuff off. Um, they're, they're not definitely gone. They aren't completely healed. I feel like they're there, but they're there for you to release which it's like, oh my God, how much more releasing do we have to do? We continue doing it. And sometimes things are a little bit tougher than others. But no doubt about it, you're strong enough to get through this because you've gotten through what you have up to this point. So let's keep going and see what's just recently come up. So we have the Two of Swords. So there's some difficult decisions. I want to say that you don't have a lot of clarity right now about which direction you're going. And you may have felt in the recent past, could have been a week ago, where you're just feeling like, why isn't this clear? Why do, why can't I see the path forward or why am I not clear? Why is this decision difficult for me to make? Devil, because there was something around you that was incredibly difficult, toxic. Um, these could be toxic behaviors. We all possess them. We all have them. And you could feel very bound to certain things and that could be it. Maybe there's this sense of, I can't get away from this either connection that you've been involved in or just these toxic behaviors of people around you. And a part of you has a tough time deciding because you may have stuck it out in a lot of situations in your life for a long time, even though they weren't good for you. So this is where that purging comes about in this time. Two of Wands, again, that's energy of not really knowing what the future holds. So recent past, let's see where your current energy currently holds you and we'll also get some other cards. Good. Because the Eight of Swords is kind of, I don't give up, you know what, anymore. And when it's in reverse, it means you're not going to allow things to keep you strapped down, especially your thoughts, which all of us, when we go through troubled times, can get a little out of control in our minds. And I think you're finally coming out of a place where you felt trapped mentally, especially if, when there's a lot of decisions that you're unsure about and not sure which path to take next or which direction things are going. So let's keep going. We've got the emperor. You're taking back your power. This is Taurus and Aries energy. So you could have people in your life that have been like this or are either one of those signs. I want to say that you're just taking back your power. doesn't matter what gender you are. The emperor is just about being back in control of things and not allowing things to take you down a, a dark path. Now, after that, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. So you, some of you, this could be two scenarios. There could be um, some emotional disconnect from a child. It could be a male child. There could also be 
somebody that's been acting a little bit immature or like a child around you, and that's tough, and sometimes you feel like you have to be the parent with an adult. Um, why that came out that way, I don't know, but a lot of us go through that. As adults, we find that adults can act like children. So you may have recently been dealing with somebody who is a little emotionally immature, um, and that could be part of the reason why you're just like, I can't anymore, I need to take back my power, take back my control. Let's look at the near future. We have the High Priestess in reverse and then the Page of Pentacles. So when this comes out, you not saying that your intuition isn't on point. Things may be a little less heightened, but it's, it's like there's a, a way of starting fresh with our intuition. Sometimes we have to check in with it and see where we are. It's like they want you to take the time to get a little bit more grounded. The pages are like a refresh button. It's not necessarily something brand new like an ace would be. This tells me there's some little opportunity, but it has to be, you have to be very grounded in it. Now, if this is something that's coming up for you and somebody's making an offer to you, um, it could be some small financial offer that's coming through. It could be a work offer, but it's like that feeling of, well, I'd be kind of starting over. So it may not be something huge, but they, they definitely want you to focus on paying attention to your intuition and kind of getting back in touch with it. Page of Pentacles and then the Three of Cups. That's a good sign because there could be three people involved. It doesn't have to be. It's a feeling of, well, I'm happy about this. This is something good, even if it's something that's refreshing or getting a new start. I like it. And it feels more work-related. So I'm not going to say that that's connected to a relationship. It feels very much around your money and your work. Let's see what the challenge might be. So we have the Knight of Wands. For some of you, your motivation may have been a little bit slow. I explained this in the other water signs. Because things have been a little bit more about earth, air, and water recently, not about fire. There haven't been many planets in fire signs. Um, so things have felt a little bit like a lull, like we haven't been motivated. Been hearing it from lots of people. So if you've been feeling that way, and there's some frustration around that because it is the challenge, like getting motivated or getting fired up. It's just because the energy is a little bit slow. That's, again, what pages are about. It's like taking things slowly from a grounded perspective and letting things rebuild, especially when there's purging and renewal coming in. All right, so let's keep going. We're going to clarify these cards. I have too many decks on my desk. And see what we've got with this Nine of Wands energy. Ooh. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups. Something definitely connected to either family relationship. Something was not making you happy. And, and there's a feeling of like, I've been through this enough times. I don't want to continue to repeat this pattern. So there could have been discord. And that's why you're feeling a little worse for wear. Because something hasn't worked out in either of those scenarios in your life. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Well, something wasn't moving forward or just didn't feel like it, like you've lost your desire for it. And that's part of the reason that we start to move on in situations, whether they're toxic or we lose desire for it, something of that sort. And it could have made you feel a little bit sad. Maybe going through it was really intense. Again, that word intense. And then we have the Six of Cups. So this is something from the past. This could also be a connection to something from your childhood. So working through some childhood things. But I also like the lightheartedness that's coming up with it as well. I don't care how old you are. Being like a child is the most refreshing energy in the world. Doing things that we loved then when we still had a lot of our innocence is important. So some of that's going to be popping back up. You could find yourself wanting to revisit activities or do things that bring out the child in you. And I think it's going to be important. Especially when you're having to recover from something that's been frustrating or painful and difficult. All right, so let's keep going with the Two of Swords and the Devil. There's that Ten of Wands energy, of course. Yeah, this feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders in the past. And for most of you, you're tired of carrying it. I see that. And that's also the frustration that comes along with not being able to see what the future holds. No doubt, when we don't know for sure... It's like, is this weight ever going to release from me? Absolutely. Because the Knight of Pentacles comes in to say, things are going to be moving forward, but this is baby steps. And again, it, they keep wanting to focus on you being grounded in your energy. Not the easiest thing to do when you're a water sign. 
There's a lot of emotions involved in your natural nature. So if things start to, to push forward, they could have already started to a little bit and you were feeling it. Just know that it's going to continue to progress because that's what that energy is about. Now, in the current with the Eight of Swords and the Emperor, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So I think it's, there's an, let me get this out the way they're trying to say it. So you taking back power and control over things. The Four of Pentacles can indicate that you are holding on to something. For some of you, you may be holding on tightly to your resources and you want to take back control of that if anything had affected you financially in the past and you just want to make sure that you've always kind of got that nest egg and maybe worries were there around that. But I feel like you're going to start releasing that because you understand that you can trust that things are going to be okay. Now, holding on to something connected to a person that's been acting kind of immature, this is again where you kind of have to stand your ground, especially if it's a child in your life, um, maybe teaching them something about finances and maybe they're not liking what you're doing or if you're holding back because they need to do it for themselves. Not saying that you wouldn't provide for them if you could. It just feels like you kind of need to guide them in a different direction. So whoever that may be. Now, if there's somebody else that's in your life that's also been wearing you out because of their emotional immaturity, um, yeah, there could be a message coming up from this person. But it's also kind of about clearing things. The Knight of Swords can be just kind of clearing energy out, mental energy and moving forward beyond it. Not that you're not thinking about it, just I feel like you just kind of want to be beyond it. Cut the BS out and be like, I don't want to say to tell your children to grow up. If you have a young child, they, they can't grow up any faster than they're going to grow up. But I do think that you're going to get a message. If, if there's some miscommunication there, or there's been some trouble, things will work themselves out. But I think you need to be very clear about what your intentions are in that. And I do find you in a good position where you feel empowered in how you move and how you speak. All right. So the high priestess in reverse with the page of pentacles in reverse, we have the six of pentacles in reverse. I like this because again, it's kind of referring back to this energy where it's saying you're not going to be giving as much because people will take advantage of that in whatever area of your life, whether it's your love, your kindness, finances, whatever. And that's what's helping you kind of refocus and do things differently. It's like, okay, I've got to refresh this button and start anew. I need to see things differently. Now also, remember I had said something about there could be an offer coming up and it may start small. This is where you don't give too much or more than what's being offered to you. So don't overextend yourself. If somebody's saying, hey, I'll give you money for this, don't overextend yourself for it. And that's why they want you to pay attention again to your intuition. And make sure that you know that if it's only going to pay this much, you're only going to give this much work. You're not going to overextend yourself. Page of Pentacles with the Three of Cups, Two of Cups. Good. Um, there's somebody in your energy. There's somebody you're going to be celebrating with. This is totally different from the other message. I just want to say, for some of you, you could be meeting somebody in a group setting or there could be a get-together. It could just be a friend. Maybe somebody who really understands you at the depth of who you are, because it is water, so understand you emotionally. It could be a friend. They could be opposite or same gender. It doesn't matter. It just feels like a good friend and somebody that you trust and somebody that you know is going to be happy for you when things go well. Okay? So this Knight of Wands energy in your challenge, we have the strength. Sure. Sometimes it's hard to push forward when you don't feel like you have the courage and strength to keep going, which just tells me that... You need to rest when you feel called to rest. And that's not easy when you're a motivated, typically motivated person. And most Scorpios are. You have a mission and you want to get on with that mission. But you're being asked to kind of restore your energy and rest because you need to rebuild strength. And that takes time. That can be weeks, sometimes months at a time where we feel like we're just not getting where we want to go. And things are moving slow. But that's what they're telling you over here. It is starting, but it's moving slowly. All right, so let's move on to the next messages. Let's see what we have here. I'll get you some advice in just a minute. Um, love without condition. And this is what I think a lot of you are really wanting and looking for if you haven't already found this. 
It's so important to not only expect that, but to give it that way. And it can be hard to do because we always have some conditions subconsciously and what we want from our relationships and the people in our lives. But I think there's a lot of unconditional love that's coming your your way. And I think you're also seeing that you want to love without condition as well. And then we have let go of the old. Okay, so we know that's happening because of the first card that we got, that purging and releasing. So definitely shedding some of the old things in your life and then seek your destiny. So something's coming up that's changing in your life. It is a new cycle, of course. I've beaten this to death in every single one of my videos about the Pluto change. Yes, it, it could be, well, it's different for everybody. But when they're saying this, I feel like there's this new destiny on the way in your life. Everybody's got some significant change that's going to be happening that's starting in these next couple of months that's going to last over the next 20 years. So you could feel like your destiny is shifting and it may be a little bit uncomfortable, but you know that there is something else that you're being called to. So be aware of what you're feeling and how things are changing because it's going to be a whole brand new cycle for you. This is not going to be repeating the same stuff that you had been repeating maybe for years and years. Next we have share your thoughts. Okay. If you have something to say to somebody, please don't be afraid to express it. Um, do your best to share the things that are on your mind. I just heard, make sure you can trust the people that you share those thoughts with so that you don't feel like somebody's going to take advantage of you or share with people that you don't want them to. Whoever this trusted person is in your life, because the, the cards are touching right here, I'm going to say that's the one you want to share your thoughts with. Just so you can get it out of your system so you're not holding all of that yourself without being able to really express it to someone. Okay, so let's get some advice over the next 10 days. What do we have? So we have the two of swords. This is great because what they're saying is you just have to make a decision. Sometimes you've just got to like snap your fingers and make a choice. Uh, I like it because it's just saying wherever you've been stuck and you haven't felt like you've been able to make decisions, you're going to. So things are going to happen pretty rapidly and the 10 of cups. So they want you to make decisions based on what truly, truly matters to you at the core of who you are and what brings you the most joy in your life. This is true happiness coming in. I think that's also what they want you to understand that you are going to feel fulfilled again. And if you've been lacking some of that fulfillment, then just know it's coming back into your life. Tens are new, you know, endings and new beginnings. They are that one cycle. So there's a lot of joy and happiness and they want you to see it, see what's around you and appreciate that. So that's the advice. And then we have the page of cups. So this card's kind of interesting. See how the pig is up here? I said this to one of the other water signs. He's looking up and it's like when pigs fly is the message that was coming through. So like even the things that you think aren't possible, they are. It's like that inner child, that younger, because pager, pages are younger. What did you used to dream about before that you thought was impossible? And you thought, no, there's no way. When pigs fly, I'm not going to do that, you know, or I couldn't, or there's just something that didn't seem possible. Well, it is. So they want you to open your mind up to the impossible things. And then the high priestess is in the upright, which tells me that there's a part of you that kind of goes back and forth about whether you can believe the information that you're getting. And it, it can be difficult if you don't practice this and, or do it all the time, like I do for a living, you're not necessarily going to know when you can trust the, the so-called downloads or the information that you're getting. They just want you just be still for a moment, close your eyes. And trust whatever thoughts come into your mind. And that's your intuition giving you the guidance that you need in that moment. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards from the Lover's Oracle. This could be just random information. Let's just see what we get from this. All right, so we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So that's going to be a really important one. And that's a tough one to get past. I mean, I can understand when we've had pain or trauma or feelings around something that has happened. Sure, there can be a lot of resentment. So it's just a little reminder to try to work on that. And then we have, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. 
so incredibly important. And then we have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So even though we had the two of wands in the recent past that indicated there may be some feeling of I don't see where things are going, there is absolutely nothing standing in your way. You take steps when you're guided to take them. And that's that's all you can do. Those That information will come to you. Those things will come to you when the timing is right. But you have you have a clear path. So if it's felt like it was clouded, it's clearing up so that you can figure out exactly where you want to go. Okay, so we're going to get some cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And for some reason, I'm being pulled to the Australian animal. I didn't pull it for everybody else, but I will for you. Here and now. The focus on the here and now and the things that are making you happy. Um, I keep hearing peace. So I feel like peace is coming to you in the here and now. And maybe you hadn't felt a sense of peace for some time. But it seems like it's kind of swarming around your energy. So you could be 32, born on the 3rd, the 2nd, or the 5th of the month. And the message in a bottle, clearly. Lately, this has been feeling more like spirit coming through. So if you've been missing somebody, it's like they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to show you things. Pay attention to numbers. And the 15 may be significant. Maybe you see that often. So you could be born on the 15th, the 1st, the 5th, or the 6th. And then we have loyal heart. So there's somebody around you that is, it's, it's almost like a mirror image of you. This feels more like a friendship. Somebody, not necessarily in a relationship. I mean, most people, obviously, if you want to be in a relationship, you want somebody who's going to be loyal. And do I think if you don't have that person, you will find them? Absolutely. So you could be 35, born on the 3rd, the 5th, or the 8th of the month. But somebody's very loyal to you. And always will be. Poised. Mm, this is how how good you look. See, nobody would ever really know on the outside what's going on with you. It's typically much more inward. So just know that don't worry about what other people think of you. But this is how people view you as being okay and very poised and holding yourself together. So you could be 48, born on the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th of the month. And then I feel the need to pull one of these. So I'm going to get you one to close this out with the oracle cards what do we have for scorpio okay so we have the butterfly and we know what that signifies transformation clearly so you could be 38 born on the third the eighth or the 11th and then we're going to read the little message quickly bear with me 38 butterfly all right so the message butterfly is here to remind us of the beauty we can look forward to after experience dark, experiencing darker times, it invites us to embrace the transformation no matter how painful and have patience with the process. Butterfly asks you to trust in the transformation and have faith that the journey is worth, is worth it for the beauty and freedom ahead. I think that was really important for you guys to hear today. So thank you so much for being here and thank you for allowing me to share this with you. I so appreciate all of you. Please hit that like button on your way out if you don't mind. Leave me a comment. And again, if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Sending you guys a ton of love and I will see you in the next one.